I know this seems like a Twilight Zone episode, but the six and four Texans are playing a really important football game, <laughs> and it impacts like the entire AFC. Conference. They're playing against the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jags, of course, are in first place at seven and three. So do the math. This is for first place in the division. And oh, by the way, nobody remembers this, but if you go back a couple months to September. Yeah. The upstart Houston Texans yep, already got damn near in. dropped a 40-burger yes, on the Jacksonville Jaguars. So does Jacksonville now uh, return the favor? Are the Texans a better team now than they were then? I think they are. Mm -hmm. And who are the Jacksonville Jaguars? And this is simple. Jacksonville wins this game. They win the division. All right, they'd have a two-game lead. Uh, they'll be straight up head-to-head, -head, and then it's their division. They're not going to lose a two-game lead in the final five weeks of the season. Sure. However, if the Houston Texans win another game and they get to win number seven, yes, and then they're in a tie, the tiebreaker goes to Houston because they will have swept the season series. The Houston Texans yep. can take firm control of the AFC South with a win on Sunday, and I can't believe, A, I'm saying it, or B, we're even talking about this game, <laughs> but it's a huge game in the NFL. Yeah, the bottom line, the Houston Texans shouldn't be here, right? But they are here simply because of C.J. Stroud and D'Amico Ryans and what they've been able to do with that ball club. I mean, you go back to that game, I think it was week three, actually, Craig, and C.J. Stroud played his tail off, 280 yeah, I think yards. he scored 37 points. Yeah, yeah. He, he had two touchdowns. Like, he was a monster, and Trevor Lawrence, like, let's be quick, and, I, and I refuse to leave this, and I know we get attacked by Duval County down in Jacksonville. Yes, we do. And I'm going to say this. Ja Jacksonville, you're frauds, right? Oh. Because we've given you time after time to show us who you are. You get beat, you lose to the Chiefs, right, with, with no Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey. You get beat up by the Niners in a pivotal game when they're coming off a three-game losing That's streak. right. And, yeah, you've rallied thus far. But bottom line, C.J. Stroud has been the darling of the NFL, and Trevor Lawrence was trying to figure out if it's him or not. Yes. So, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I think the Texans are going to get him. They're going to blow him out, and we're going to be talking about another game. Wow. This is one of those divisions that you look at preseason, you're like, I can't believe one of these teams is going to make the playoffs. And now I'm looking at this division, like, I think two of these teams are going to well, make Well, I'm going to let me add a little wrinkle to that. Ooh, and wrinkle. this goes against uh, my own uh, Ten Commandments, which uh, it's commandment number eight, never talk about the Colts. Um, <laughs> good, good, solid, solid, I just, solid. It's one of my commandments. It's no, no, uh, words to live by. Good, good. That being said, just play it out for one second. The Colts have a bye week, yes, all right? Man. The Colts are 500. They're 5-5. Five and five. Uh, yep. If if the Houston Texans win this game, they're seven and four. The Jaguars are seven and four. We go by the loss column of these things, right? Mm -hmm. The Colts are a game out of first. Don't talk about the Colts. Right? We need Jim Ursay <laughs> dancing. Remember when we had Ursay dancing? That's what yeah. we need. That's like what we need when right you start just the AFC is whack this yeah. year because you've got a whole bunch of teams, and let's be honest about it. Every handicapper, every prognosticator, every guy who gather Harold. does what we do going into the year is like, well, the Colts are gonna suck. And by the way, Gardner Minshew is their starting quarterback. Anthony Richardson's been out for a month. Facts. They're five hundred and they're two spots away from being in the postseason. And That's they, crazy. Yeah, and they just lost their all-pro linebacker in Shakira Leonard. So, I, when you talk about well, who the folks <coughs> are, I don't know. But they are in the mix of everything. So, uh, But this game is – This is the game. This is the, this is the one for them. Yeah, so anyway, we'll watch that game. You'll wager on it. Uh, just do it carefully because I don't know how you predict this game. Jaguars are favored I'm on the road. And you can play that out. If Houston beat them by 20 when they played in week three. And they host them. And the yeah. Texans are at home. And they're one of the hottest teams in the NFL. Granted, the Jags are coming off a big win yes. against Tennessee last week. Yeah, but Tennessee but is, who's Tennessee? Why are the Jaguars favored? favored. Make Makes sense. you say, hmm. To be fair, I also didn't think Dolly Parton was going to look that hot, and she did. Oh, great. So she my did. whole world really was like tossing turbulence. Really wasn't a fan. Right, I don't know if I'm more surprised that Dolly Parton looked that five. good, or that really wasn't a fan. They went to nine to five. <laughs> Please. By the way, that's elder abuse, and I'm but, not going to stand for it. Get my gang, honey. Why can't I? I? I was over it. I was so over it. I'm almost ruined my Thanksgiving. <laughs> Better than Jack Harlow. I didn't even watch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time now for Jacoby's over and under. Over and under, very simple game. I ask you the over and under. You tell me what you think. We start with point five. Point playoff five. wins for the Detroit Lions. Will the Detroit Lions win a playoff game this season? 
over, under. Easy five. for me. Over. Oh! Look, I know they, they've not played their best football the last three weeks, but they won two of those games. The big shootout against the Chargers, the comeback against Chicago. Their promised fumbles and turnovers. Yeah. Uh, their defense probably uh, took Green Bay somewhat lightly. But, look, they're going to win the division. By proxy, they're probably going to have a home playoff game, albeit play. only one of them. Uh, and I think the Detroit Lions get their first playoff win in 30 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Willie. I'm going does under. not agree. Yeah, the oh. bottom line, you talk about six turnovers in the last two games. What pissed me off? What pissed me off about the Detroit Lions, they're supposed to mimic the identity uh, of their head coach and Dan Campbell. Yeah. They got bullied yesterday yeah. by Sean Gary. That offensive line, who I love the Detroit uh, Lions offensive yeah. line, got slapped up and down. Okay. Field. So, no, I, I think this is a bad sign. First of all, you, Chicago Bears, bad team. Green Bay Packers, bad team. Bully them, yep. please. Stop okay, them. this next one is the actual over-under that I saw on the internet. Oh, okay. 165 yards. Passing for Tim Boyle. Oh, that's easy. Over or under. That is a low number. Usually these are in the 200s, and it is today at 3 p.m. Will Tim Boyle have over or under 165 yards? Oh, God. Oh, God. Easy answer. Oh, God. Under 38 passing yards. Oh, God. How does he get to 38? Yeah, he throws five passes in today's game. Today's game goes down as the most boring game in the history of the NFL. Look, I, you can't trust TB7. The guy, <laughs> well, you got nicknames. The guy threw one touchdown TB7. in college. Uh, I have no expectations for the New York Jets today. I will watch the game as a hopeful fan that they keep it closer to the fourth quarter. And I know that might be a stretch. And I don't want to hear about how calm he looked in the pocket and how he knows the plays and Hackett loves him. He knows blah, the blah, plays. blah. There's a reason he's only got one start in the NFL. He ain't any good. He's so under. Place. I'm going over. Ah, my guy Willie. The man grew a hundred. He grew up a hundred miles away from MetLife Stadium. He's gonna have all of Connecticut in the building. What are you talking about? Playing the Dolphins at three o'clock. They're gonna let Tim Boyle go crazy. I think big shots down the field. Garrett Wilson, yeah. Conklin. They get another one. Alan Lazard. He's gonna show up for you. Uh, this might be, Miami secondary. Have you heard of one guy? You know, know that Alan Lazard for Halloween this year dressed up as uh, MVS. <laughs> like, like, if Al Lazard catches the ball today, you know, that would be a minor miracle. Our producer, Buford, is going to the game. He will recap. He's wearing a TB7 jersey. Yeah, you Bless go. his heart. Nice. Yeah. So. Okay. By the way, I will tell you this. The only thing I can compare it to, you and I, we and I were talking about off air, is last year when Zach finally got benched, we all fell in love with this guy named Mike White. Yeah, He had a nickname. Baby. Mike effing White. Yes, sir. And he played pretty good. Yes, sir. Can I steal a W today? No, Probably not. Probably not. not at all. <laughs> hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out, too.